presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Shanghai Lil was introduced to Sir Cecil Hardwick, who sent her to India to act as a secret agent in breaking up a gang of ivory and emerald smugglers. Meanwhile, in Mandalay, Jungle Jim and Peter Hawkins moved from one hotel to another to avoid the prying eyes of a mysterious Hindu who had been inquiring for them. Myra Trent brings them a package addressed to them which had been delivered at their former hotel. Before the package could be unwrapped, Hawkins heard a ticking sound and Jim ordered him to throw the package into a bucket of water, suspecting that it was a time bomb. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Hawkins stands dazed as he hears Jungle Jim order him to drop the mysterious package into the water bucket. Don't you hear me, Peter? Douse that thing in the water bucket. Quick! Oh, yes, quick. Blimey! A blinking bomb. Here's the way we put the stop to that. Hello, boy. Oh. Well, be sure to splash it around well, Peter. Right on, Captain. Oh, boy. Well, that's a pleasant little present for anyone to get. Oh, let me sit down. Somehow my knees don't seem to be working just right. Oh, here, Mr. Matt. Take this chair. Thanks. I know exactly how you feel. All of us feel the same way. Calm during excitement and the heebie-jeebies after it's all over. I can't get over how nonchalantly I carried the package along the street. Why, it might have gone off at any moment in my hand. We're all darn lucky, Miss Trent. I say, Governor, you don't suppose the water will make the blinking machinery go off now, do you? (laughs) No, Peter, no. You can just relax and let the bomb soak a while. Later, maybe, we can find out something about where it came from. Oh, that was a close one, Governor, and no mistake. I'd rather face a gun in a man's hand than monkey with them time bombs. At least you get warning from the man before the gun goes off. Well, one thing the bomb has done, it's made me more determined than ever to beat our unseen enemy if it's the last thing I ever do. Bully for you, Governor. I'm right with you. He thinks the bomb will scare us off, but it's going to put us on his trail more relentlessly than ever. Now you've struck it, Governor. That's the point. Where is his trail? Well, I'm not sure exactly, Peter. But from the way things have taken place since we arrived in Mandalay, yeah. I should say that our trails crossed when we started to find your son, Ronnie. I see what you mean. This here persecuting did start just after you agreed to come down here. Uh-huh. So I think the quicker we get going on our search, the more likely we are to get going, if you know what I mean. Right. Well, that's very true, Mr. Bradley. What with mysterious Hindus and the tents on your lives... Mandalay isn't very safe for you. We're all set as far as our personal equipment goes, but we need elephants and native boys. Well, you ought to be able to pick those up in almost any village on your way north. Yes, if our unseen enemy hasn't gotten to the agents and traders before us. But how will anyone know where we're heading, Governor? We don't know ourselves. I can tell you which way you're heading. Then you've heard from your mission worker? Yes, that's what I came over about, but the exciting reception I got put it right out of my head. A shell-shocked Englishman has been seen near Nogong in Upper Burma. And it's my Ronnie Miss. Well, I can't promise that, Mr. Hawkins. But from what I've been told, I think I'd risk the trip if I were you. You bet we will. Thanks for the tip. I say, Miss. Yes? I wish you were coming along with us. Thank you. I'd like to, all right. But, of course, that's impossible. We'll keep you informed as to our whereabouts at all times, Miss Trent. And if you hear anything new or startling, we'd appreciate it if you'd pass the information along. I certainly shall, Mr. Bradley. Now, I know you have lots to do, so I'll say goodbye and good luck. Goodbye, and God bless you, Miss Trent. Thanks a lot for all you've done, Miss Trent. I say that now because I don't know when we'll see you again. We leave during the night for Upper Burma. True to his word, Jungle Jim, Hawkins, and Colo start that night on their search for Ronnie Hawkins. At Mogok, a small village north of Mandalay, they managed to procure the elephants and native boys. Now we find them on the trail. I say, Governor, them blinking elephants looks pretty good to me after the trouble we had getting them. Same here, Peter. Lucky for us, we were able to get in Mogok before our unseen enemy. Oh, Carlo. Yes, it one, Jim. Ask those boys up ahead how far we'll have to go before we hit a clearing. Yes, it one. Oh, I'm, I'm dog tired. It's been a tough day, Peter. 
I'm not used to riding on, on these elephants. Well, I haven't minded it so much, Governor. Perhaps the thought that at last we were on the trail of Ronnie has kept me going. Maybe. I guess it's just that I've lazed around so long in civilization that I'm pretty soft. Yeah. One, Jim. What'd they say, Colo? Say, big open space come now. Okay. Order the boys to make camp for the night. Yes, it was. We'll do. All right, Peter. Yeah. Let, let's get off this elephant. Right, come on. Uh, uh, there. there we are. Oh, feels good to stretch a bit. Well, how do you like India? Well, if it's all the same as it has been so far, with the exception of that blinking bomb, of course, I'm going to like India first rate. Oh, India's a great country, Peter. I hope we get a chance to go in Kashmir before we leave. Well, I've heard a lot about Kashmir and Bombay. And... Right. Well, well, here we are, ah. safe and sound, in spite of the time bomb. Speaking of that bomb, Governor, you sure it was sent to us by the tiger's claw? Yes, Peter, I am. The insignia was drawn on the inside wrapping paper. I saw it when I opened the package. Blimey. I've been trying to figure out why this here Tiger's Claw bunch should be so set against us making the trip to find Ronnie. Well, that's a question that has no answer at present, Peter. No. We'll probably find out as we go along. But I have a hunch who's back of it. Oh. The only person who knows our plans. Your Indian friend, Bhutan. <laughs> oh, now, look here, Governor. Why are you always suspecting poor old Bhutan? I can't help suspecting him, Peter. And the latest reason is that the death-dealing part of that mysterious package we were sent came from China. You don't say. Then you think that Bhutan... Yes, Peter. I'm pretty sure Bhutan was mixed up in it. We must constantly be on our guard from now on. Back in Mandalay, as Myra Trent sits in a bizarre tea house having the customary cup of tea in the late afternoon, a turbaned Hindu glides into the empty chair at her side. Ah, <laughs> This is most fortunate, our meeting like this. Oh, it's you again. You are surprised, eh? Yes, of course I'm surprised. I suppose you've come to breathe soft-spoken threats into my ear for a second time. Them sob maligns me. Do I? Them sob tries to make me out a fictional villain. All I did was warn her of impending danger. And to what do I owe this sudden appearance of yours? I wish to congratulate Mem What for? For coming to the intelligent conclusion that it was best not to have anything to do with Jungle Jim Bradley and his companion. Oh. How did you know we'd parted? Bhutan has ways of knowing. Bhutan? Is your name Bhutan? Oh. Then Saab has heard of me. Yes, I've heard of you. Information has reached me that Jungle Jim Bradley received rather a formidable hint that he was no longer wanted here. So you know about the bomb? Bhutan knows all. Jungle Jim Bradley has not been seen on the streets of Mandalay since he received the suggestion that his presence was no longer welcome. He hasn't he? Then Saab knows I speak the truth. For she has not seen him since. You certainly get the news, Mr. Bhutan. I suppose you know where Mr. Bradley is at this moment. Suppose Mem Saab confirms my suspicion. You're very clever, but that's a stupid suggestion. You ought to know that I wouldn't give you a single word of information about Jungle Jim Bradley's plans or whereabouts. Mem Saab need not get so agitated. It is a well-known fact that Bradley has left Mandalay. Is it? And is on his way to Upper Burma. Oh, oh. My suspicions were right. He is on his way to Upper Burma. Many thanks, Mentab. What are you thanking me for? I haven't given you any information. Not in so many words, no. But your face told me when I made the statement that Bradley was on his way to Upper Burma. <laughs> Mentab has learned to control the tongue, but has yet to learn the control of the feature. Mm, is that so? Suppose it were true that Mr. Bradley were on his way to Upper Burma... What would you do? It is true, Mem Saab, and both of us know it. <laughs> I shall follow him by plane, and I shall leave for Upper Burma at midnight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if Jungle Jim only knew what lies before him. <laughs> A 
A short time later, Colonel R.D.H. Scott of the British Intelligence Service at Mandalay received a visitor whom he had been expecting. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, sit down, Mr. Brill. Thanks, Colonel. I don't mind if I do. Uh, I have been informed that you've done most creditable work for the Chinese Secret Service. That's what they've been kind enough to tell me. Uh, yeah, but, but I must admit I'm quite surprised that they've sent me a woman agent. Yes, I suppose you are, Colonel. But you know the old thing, the female of the species is more deadly than the male. Yeah, 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 so they say. If you're worrying about me already, don't. Billy DeBrille can take care of herself. General Fu Young Sen worried about me, too. But I broke up the Purple Triangle gang just as I told him it could be done. From the inside. Yes, from the inside. And that's the way I want to break up this gang of smugglers for you. Yes, it's the only way it can be done. You see, Colonel? I've got the right angle of attack. And I think I'm a clever enough actress to put it over. Perhaps, Mr. Vril. But you must remember, India is a vast country. Uh, much of it is desolate jungle. Now, if you were in closer contact with headquarters so that we could get aid to you at a moment's notice... Please don't give it another thought, Colonel Scott. I tell you, I've been in some mighty awkward jungle spots before and come out all in one piece. Oh, yes, yes, quite. I know what you're thinking. Oh, you do? Yes, that my fair skin will give me away. Mm, well? May I use that next office as a dressing room? I'll put on my disguise for you. I've got it right here in this case. Oh, that's very well. Uh, go right ahead, Mr. Breeze. I'll only be a minute. I'm a quick change on. <laughs> uh, Colonel Scott speaking. This is Myra Trent. Oh, yes, uh, Miss Trent. Uh, what can I do for you? Your office is in charge of the Morgan District, isn't it? Yes, we're in charge up there. A fellow countryman of mine, Jungle Jim Bradley, has gone up there to look for a shell-shocked fellow countryman of yours. Yeah? I don't know what's behind it all, but a Hindu named Bhutan... Bhutan? How do you spell that? B-H-U-T-A-N. Oh, yes. Well, this Hindu has threatened to follow him by plane tonight at midnight. Mm, at midnight, eh? And the name is Bhutan. Yes. He's staying at the Indochina Hotel... I thought maybe you could do something about him. Yes, you're quite right, Miss Trent. We'll put Mr. Bhutan under surveillance at once. Oh, thank, thank you very much for the information. Goodbye. Ah, so Bhutan is up to something after all, eh? Ah, oh, now look here. Will Sahib deign to give me a moment of his time? Why, Joe, Mr. Will. <laughs> I say, I didn't recognize you. I wondered how this native woman could possibly have gotten in here. The disguise is pretty good, eh? Good. It's it, 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 it. perfect as far as I can see. Then you'll send me out on this assignment to Upper Burma? Well, uh, I'll give you a local assignment first. Now, I want you to shadow a Hindu named Bhutan. Bhutan? Yes. Uh, he's staying at the Indochina Hotel. Now, get right over there and don't let him out of your sight. Just leave everything to me, Colonel. I'll watch him like a hawk. And with Lily DeVriel on the job, Mr. Bhutan hasn't got a chance. The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's Skippy, the Cats and Yama Kids, bringing up Father... Barney Google, Toots and Casper, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly, and don't forget our date, next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim